In this tutorial, we'll be creating a Twitter reply bot using Tweepy and Python. The bot will reply to each tweet that mentions the bot's account. Before we start, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notifications. Also, check out my Discord and other social media for updates on the projects I'm currently working on. Alright, so I'm in Visual Studio Code, and it's important to know that I already have Tweepy set up. But if you don't, then you can click the link at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description below to watch a quick tutorial on how to set all that up. But now, for the reply bot, let's just think about this real quick. We always need to start with what the bot should do, and that's to reply to tweets that mention us. Alright, so that means we need to find those tweets that mention us in the first place. So hopefully Tweepy has a method or function for finding tweets that mention us, right? So let's put it to use. Let's start by creating the message we want to reply with first though. We can create a message variable here, and it will be a string, which means that anything we put into these quotation marks will be the message we reply with to the users. For now, I'll make my own message say, send me a message message if you have any questions. You can put anything in here, you might even leave your email or phone number or something if you wanted. Now, each account on Twitter has an ID, so later, when we search for tweets mentioning us, we'll need our bot's ID so that the bot knows it should search for tweets mentioning us. So let's get the bot's ID and store it in a variable. We can call it client ID, and then we get the actual ID by typing client.getme.data.id. Now this client ID variable stores the bot's Twitter account ID. Now we want the bot to keep on looking for tweets that mention us. So to do that, we'll put the bot in a loop where it keeps on searching for new tweets. We can create a loop by typing while true, and then inside of the loop we want to type the code that searches for the mentioned tweets. So to search the tweets that mention us, we'll create a variable called response, and inside response we'll store client.getUsersMentions, and then we'll pass our bot's ID that we created earlier, so we type client ID. This entire line of code will search for tweets that mention us, and if it finds any, it will store those tweets inside of this response variable. So that means we now need to access this response variable and check if it received any tweets. We do this by checking if it's not empty, and we do that by typing if response.data is not equal to none. This will check if it's empty, and if it's not, well, then it means there's one or more tweets that mention us. So then inside of this if statement, we create a for loop, which basically just means we're going to go through each tweet that the bot received. So for for tweet in response.data and then inside of the for loop, the code we type now will happen to each tweet that mentions us. Just to be safe though, I like to use a try and accept block. What a try and accept block does is it tries to execute a certain chunk of code, but if it gets an error, then that code won't stop, and the code in the accept block executes as well. So to do this, we type try, and inside of try, we can type print and then tweet.text. This will just display the tweet's text in the terminal, but to actually respond to the tweet, we type client.createTweet, and then we access a special parameter in here called in reply to tweet ID, and we pass the tweet's ID. We can then also access the text parameter and pass message in here. This create tweet method is quite self-explanatory. It does exactly what it says it does, but it might get a bit complicated with this in reply to tweet ID part. Basically, if we didn't have this tweet ID part here, then the bot would just go ahead and tweet this. But by passing tweet ID into this reply to tweet parameter, Parameter, we're letting the bot know that the tweet it's about to make is reply to this tweet that we pass here, which is the tweet that mentions us. With every try block, we need an accept block. So underneath all this, we type accept. And then inside of accept, we can just type pass. This will make the bot ignore errors if it receives any in the first place. This should technically be all the code, but I just want to add one last feature. I want to add a delay of a few seconds in the code. Because think about it, we don't want the bot executing all of this code many times over the period of one second. So instead, Instead, we'll make the bot search for new tweets only after a set amount of seconds, which you'll obviously get to set yourself. To do this, we need to go to the very top of all the code and underneath import Tweepy, we need to import a library called time. So import time. This allows us access to work with features relating to time. Back at the bottom of our code, we can type time.sleep and then inside the brackets here, you can type any number. This number will be the amount of seconds your bot will wait before searching for the next set of tweets. So for mine, I'll set it to search for new tweets every five seconds. Also, make sure this time.sleep line of code is in line with the response line of code. Hi guys, sorry there was a problem with the bot where basically it got stuck in a loop with another bot because that other bot kept on mentioning my bot and then my bot re kept on replying to that bot and the loop just kind of continued for some reason. I don't know how or why, but basically to fix it or to prevent your bot from going into to prevent your bot from facing this problem, 
make sure to add this line of code, add this piece of code here, and then add this line of code here as well. Basically, this since ID parameter, you can ignore these three lines of code for now. This since ID parameter basically just tells the bot to search for tweets that are that have an ID newer than the ID we pass here. So it's okay for the ID to be one at the start, which is, we just have to set it to something because down here we're setting it to be a one of the latest tweets' as IDs anyway. Um, but in the case of my bot, uh, I didn't do this. And what ended up happening was um, the bot still received or captured those older mentions from the other bot. And so the reason I added these three lines of code here was basically to uh, to just get an, get one of the most recent tweets as IDs anyway. Uh, but you shouldn't need to add these three lines of code. You just need to add this line, this piece here, and then this line of code as well. I now have Twitter open on the one side and the bot open on the other side. And so I'll now be running the code on the right. And then on the left, I'll be creating a tweet mentioning myself. So I'll just type hi and then the bot's username. If I now tweet this and we wait for a short while, I'll refresh this page. And we should see that the bot has responded to this tweet. And the tweet is exactly the message that we wanted it to send. With all that, please remember to subscribe, like the video and turn on the bell notifications. And also check out my other social media as well as my Discord. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you in the next one.